Hey, what's happening? YouTubers are back with another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Dark Side. Now, this is based on their Superpowers line that Kenner created back in the 80s. It's not something I personally collected, but the thing that drew me to this figure was this version of Dark Side. Even though this isn't a one for one like Dark Side that came out back in the day like the McFarlane Toys is doing right now with like the Superman and Batman. It's kind of similar to what was released back in the day. This is a brand new version. The thing that drew me to this was I actually had the original DC Multiverse Dark Side New 52 from Mattel, but I sold that a couple years back. So I always liked that design. And even though this isn't part of the Multiverse line, it did kind of draw me with the nostalgia of that, I guess, even though it's only a few years old. But there is a good conversation about nostalgia I do want to bring up real quick. My friend Fobster had a good live stream, a good discussion about that about how companies are kind of nostalgia baiting collectors, adult collectors specifically, into buying some of these older stuff or older inspired stuff at a lesser cost for the manufacturer, but at a higher price point for the consumers, which I totally agree with. It's definitely worth a watch. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyways, let's get started with the box art first. So it is inspired by the DC Superpowers card art you saw back in the 80s. It's definitely true to it. And the cool thing I like about this actually is that McFarlane Toys is using his old school retro logo that he used in the 90s. And I'm glad he evolved and changed it because I get it for its time that looked cool. But comparing to the McFarlane Toys logo now, I like that one better. But just to compare it to the Marvel Legends version, so... This is, I, I took Ant-Man out of the box because <laughs> I put him on display, but this is basically, I think this is McFarlane Toys version of Legends, like 3.7 inch line, except this is, it's a lot of plastic. It's like five to six inch line, but you can kind of see the inspiration for retro card. So it's pretty cool. All right. Now, if we look at the back of the card, you can see the superpowers logo on the top, Dark Side's name right there. And then the other three figures in the first wave, we have Superman and Batman. And like I mentioned, these are closer to like the original versions that came out in the 80s, whereas Dark Side is an updated version. And there's already more figures starting to be released. I think it's John Stewart's Green Lantern, the Batman Who Laughs, and the Flash, I believe, are the ones that are released right now. And there's also vehicles. You have the Batwing and the Supermobile, which is pretty trippy. He's got like fists on the... <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty. It, it's it's crazy concept to see, but it's cool nonetheless. Then on the back of the card, you'll also find info on Dark Side. Feel free to pause it if you want to go ahead and read it. And the cool thing I like about this is that it's like a lot of information on Dark Side, whereas with figures on the back of the box, we're used to seeing like one or two sentences. So it's kind of cool to see the kind of go in depth with the character of Dark Side. But that's enough about the retro packaging. Let's go and get Dark Side out of the box. So I apologize to all you inbox collectors, but I'm taking this figure out. All right, here is Dark Side out of the box. And just to show y'all, I did carefully try to use an X-Acto knife to open it up so I could preserve the card art, but I did F up a little bit right here. Damn it. But let's take a the figure, and he doesn't come with any accessories. I don't think any of these superpower figures do. But let's take a look at the head sculpt first. Now, when we take a look at the head sculpt, it is nicely sculpted. And just so you all know, I'm not going to dissect this figure, you know, part for part and just be like, oh, look at this. Just because I know what it is. It's basically just a retro figure. So I'm not going to go too in-depth like I would with a multiverse figure. But I do like the sculpting of his face. You can see, like, the cracks right there and the wrinkles on his face. It does look really nice. And one thing I did notice about this head sculpt is... The head sculpt and the neck are attached as one piece, so it's not two separate pieces. But when taking a look at the rest of the figure and the design, you can definitely see the new 52 design in this. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more intricate details that aren't involved in the suit because it is a basic figure in its core. But I do like the sculpting overall of his armor. This really isn't that bad when compared to other retro style figures that are out there on the market. And when taking a look at articulation, it's pretty basic, so the head moves from side to side. There is a cut at the shoulder, so you can swivel it. Now, there aren't any cuts at the elbows, the biceps, or the wrist. And I wouldn't expect it to be because it is a basic figure at its core. There's no cuts at the waist. There is cuts at the legs, and it can go far like that. And it's funny because going back, it goes pretty far. That's more range than the DC Multiverse figures, but that's because it's using these like ugly cuts. There, are, there is a hinge at the knee, so it can go up like that, doing the Captain Morgan. And that's about it in articulation. All right, now I'm just going to jump right into size comparison. And first size comparison, here's Dark Side standing next to the Marvel Legends Retro 3.75 inch line Ant-Man and the Spin Master Adam Smasher. So he can scale well with the Spin Master one if you have like the comic book Batman or Superman. I think they would go well together. I know Spin Master made their own, but if you just wanted a larger Dark Side figure, this would work with that in scale. And I don't know why you would, but you could scale it with your Marvel Legends retro ones. 
Again, I don't know why you would, but you could. And next size comparison, here's Dark Side sitting next to some more Marvel characters. We have the Toy Biz Morph and the Gamma Smash Hulk from Hasbro from the first Avengers movie. So it's wild to see, like, this thing is, like, what, five to six inches? Because it's even taller than the five-inch Toy Biz line. So they weren't kidding. It's a lot of plastic. All right, some overall thoughts on this figure is it's okay. I mean, it is what it is. It's there to scratch that nostalgia itch if you had this line growing up. Now, the thing is, I'm not expecting much when I purchase these retro figures. But I will say this. This isn't bad at the price point because this was 10 bucks. whereas, I mean, someone correct me if I'm wrong, these Marvel Legends ones were like 10 to $13 depending on where you buy it from. So at the $10 price point and the amount of plastic you get for this figure, it's not bad. But let me know your thoughts in comments below, YouTubers. What do you think about this figure? Will you be picking it up? And like always, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already yet, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, subscribe. Thanks for watching.